What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 7. Now disclaimer, I am doing this on the Japanese version of the game, okay? Once the English version releases, I will come back to this method and see if there are any changes. If there are, I will pin a comment to the top of this video. However, for now, I'm going to show you guys what the absolute best way of farming HL is in the game. However, it's only going to be for the demo. There is more than likely going to be a much better way in the full game compared to what is available in the demo. Because obviously the demo is very limited. Now, why are we going to do this in the demo? Well, that's simply due to the fact the save game transfers over to the full game, just like the previous demos for Disguise 6 and Disguise 5. So, how exactly do you farm all the HL in the world? So, first of all, what you are going to want to do is you are going to want to level a character all the way up to 9,999, and that really doesn't take as long as you might think. I do have a video on that already. Also, try and make sure that you master all of the classes on that character as well. And make sure you also do the question mark ones as well, because there is a glitch in the game where you can still level them even without having them unlocked. Once you have done that, your main character will be pretty damn powerful, as you can see right there. Don't worry about the stats, though. We just want the HP and the SP for this method. Then what we want to do is you want to go to the class recruitment, create a character, ideally use a zombie, or you can also use a witch character, okay? The main reason we want to do this is we need characters with either extremely high health or extremely high SP. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a rank 6 zombie. And then for the actual points, you can either use minus 5 if you want to save some money. Or you can use plus 1 if you want to save some money. It doesn't matter. Just whatever you do, do not take any points off of HP or SP. Feel free to remove points from attack, defense, int, resistance, hit, or speed though, because for this method, they do not matter at all. Once you have made a bunch of these at the maximum level possible, which is 7,999 for class uh, creation, you want to then unlock the gacha system for the hospital rewards. Now, this is done via the dark assembly. Once you've unlocked the gacha system, you will slowly start unlocking all of these different ones, which cost varying amounts of RP. You earn RP from healing at the hospital as normal. Now, as you are going through this method, you can work through them all at once. That is, that is perfectly fine, because you are going to be earning more HL than you are spending on healing. Now, once you've made all of your characters and you do have the gacha system unlocked, as you can see, I have a bunch right here. I've just got like 61 characters total and a bunch of them are also, you know, pretty, pretty low level as well. Once you've got all those characters, you want to go into a stage that you cannot create a character for. And what I mean by that is this stage right here, you can create a, uh, sorry, there is a spectre mob on this stage which is higher than level 1, but if you've already mastered all the classes, you cannot use this stage. In the demo, there is only one other stage that we can actually use, and that is going to be this one right here, which is stage 1-5. We're going to go in this stage, and then we're going to use our nice strong character to quite literally just sprint up the field, okay? All we want to do right now is get to the end of this area where the armor knight is we're going to run up to him and we are going to lift him up we're just going to end the turn and then we're going to slowly drag him back down to the end of the field the reason we are going to do this okay is because we're going to throw him in the base panel the reason we're going to do that is he will kill every character in that base panel because we cannot create him okay because we cannot create him he's going to just automatically blow up and we will not be able to well basically everything will die even though they are much stronger so if i just end the turn right here so i'm going to put my really strong character back in now just so she dies as well we're going to get fuji we're going to pick the armor knight up because i cannot create one just yet and we're going to throw him in the base panel this is going to kill absolutely everybody in there it's also going to destroy the base panel, so make sure that the character you use after this is strong enough 
to clear the stage. Obviously, in the demo, that's not really going to be very difficult because we are just doing stage one, uh, five. However, if you're doing this in a full game using, you know, a higher level stage, then be warned, it might be a little bit more risky. However, as I say, there is very likely going to be better methods for leveling in the full game anyway. And I forgot I took all my equipment off. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about doing this state this itself in the full game. Simply just the fact we're gonna have, you know, mount ordeals more than likely. We're going to have um, extra properties for HL farming and so on and so forth. So this is gonna be kind of redundant in the full game for sure, but for the demo, it is above and beyond the best farm possible. So as you can see right now, everybody is dead but Fuji, okay? That is because Fuji was the only one outside of the base panel. So what we're going to do now, okay, is we're going to go down to the hospital. And as you can see, I have 4,000 RP. That's that's all I have right now. So if I go into heal, as you can see, it's going to cost me 41 million HL to heal all of these characters. So what I'm going to do is we're going to heal that. And then if we go back to RP, as you can see, I'm now at 81 million. Okay, that is 81 million RP. So we just gained 81 million RP for 40 million HL. And also, let me just go ahead and sell everything off that I can. So there we go. I cannot sell anything else now. Everything else is equipped. So what we are going to do is we are just going to spend this RP. Now, as you are going through, when you're at a low amount of RP, I would suggest using this one, which is the Testament. This is going to be your best moneymaker early on until you start earning huge, huge amounts. For me, I'm going to use the 10,000 RP one, and we're going to put it up to the maximum, which is 100 purchases on the gacha. Once we purchase, we'll get a bunch of random equipment, evilties, um, innocence, juice bar, stuff like EXP, mana, stats, and then we'll also gain some HL anyway. Don't worry about that, hey child. That's not important. That is not how we are going to make all this money. Instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to go through just constantly using the 100 spins. Now, see in the bottom right where the gear is, once you unlock those five pieces of gear, select the bottom option and you will also get an exodus. So we're just going to keep doing this now until all 81 million RP is spent. Now, just remember, okay, we started off and it cost me 40 million to heal right it cost me 40 million to heal so as long as we get more than 40 million hl worth of items here we are going to be in profit now with regards to that okay you may end up filling up on your items that is perfectly normal also if you want to you can just sit here machine x you don't have to get the exodius each exodius is basically just an extra 100,000 hl so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spam through because to me personally, I do find it much more efficient to just spend all your RP at once, basically. But again, you are going to have to sort of keep an eye on your item inventory. So I'm going to stop in just a minute. We'll get down to uh, to 40 million, but we'll get down to 41 million, which means we've spent 40 million RP. And then we'll go and sell all the equipment that we just got okay so there we go we are now at 41 million i might as well get one more exodus why not so we have just spent 40 million rp right now as long as we get more than 40 million back or well more than 20 million back we've made profit so if i just select everything and go to sell 12.4 million but if you look at the top that is 13 million okay that is from all the extra hl from spinning the gacha if you remember or you want to go back about, you know, two, three minutes in the video, you can look at when I made sure my inventory was completely empty. I was at 100 million HL. So if I just sell off all these items, that is 26 million HL that we have just gained from 40 million HL. However, I still have half of my RP. So this means right now I spent around 50, uh, sorry, I spent around 40 million HL to do the healing. However, I'm going to make around 56 million, maybe more, maybe a little less, but it's still profit nonetheless. And of course, this method is scalable as well. If you wanted to, you could very easily create a bunch more characters. Just cap out your characters on, you know, uh, level 9999. Or if you really wanted to optimize it, you could go ahead and master all the classes on them as well to give them an even further stat boost with HP and SP. And then you could also level them with uh, with stat boosting innocence. 
to really, you know, really maximize the potential of this method. What that would give you is rather than getting 80 million RP, you would end up getting hundreds of millions. So there, with one heal, you would end up getting way, way, way more RP. So right now, I am now completely out of RP. Let's go take one more look at my HL and also do one final sale. So right now, I am at 152 million HL. That means just I got a total of 52.3 million from spending 41. So I gained 11 million right there, and it took, what, like four or five minutes obviously it took me a little bit longer to do because i'm explaining the process as i go so that is quite a nice gain now i have tested damage control on uh, on a witch using the sp skill sort of how we did it in disguise 6 however that unfortunately is not a very good farming method it is actually incredibly incredibly slow and you also can't actually gain hl from attacking your own characters anymore either that's why in the demo, this is above and beyond the best and the fastest HL farm possible. But though, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope it has helped. If it has, then please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing tons and tons of guides for Disguise 7 when it releases in Japan in two days. And I will also be remaking some guides once the English version is released as well. As always, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.